and hello what's going on today we're talking about polka dot okay so i'm going to explain what polka dot is because the architecture of polka dot can sometimes be kind of complicated so i'm going to explain the relay chain parachains all that all right and i'm also going to explain how uh, the parachain slot auction and i'll explain what that is later but i'm going to explain how this par parachain slot auction will probably make the price of the dot token appreciate a lot okay so let's get right into it Okay, so this can be a quick explanation, a brief explanation of how Polkadot works, okay? I'm not going to go too into depth, but you should leave this video with a decent understanding of how Polkadot works, all right? So the way Polkadot works is it has this main relay chain, okay? So it goes all around. It's a big circle, but I'm just showing you part of it right now, okay? So it's a big old circle with a bunch of these little slots, okay? So these are called parachain slots, all right? And these parachains are basically other blockchains that can be built on this relay chain, okay? And basically this relay chain doesn't, you can't actually run smart contracts on this relay chain, okay? So this relay chain is, think of it basically as just a database, okay? A database for the information that's happening on the parachain, okay? So you have a relay chain, the main chain. And then along this relay chain, you have a bunch of different parachains, okay? So if you saw the entire relay chain, you would see a bunch of these little um, these little parachains coming off, okay? I'm only showing you one right now. So basically, you have these parachains, and that's where all the, uh, all the dApps are built. That's where all the farms are, the games are, all the applications that you're going to be building on DeFi are going to be built on these parachains, okay? So basically, validators will validate the transactions that happen on this parachain, okay? And they'll relay that information to the relay chain. Simple enough, right? But the thing is, with these uh, parachains, is that not only are they um, communicating with the relay chain, right? They're not only communicating with the relay chain and sending information to the relay chain, but they're also capable of communicating amongst each other with the other parachains, okay? So if there's another parachain here, this parachain could communicate with this parachain, okay? And that's really important for um, making sure that this relay chain doesn't get uh, too overwhelmed, right? Because you can imagine if you have a whole bunch of parachains all trying to get information onto this relay chain and there's a lot of transactions, then you can imagine there would be a lot of traffic on that relay chain, right? So they solve that issue by allowing the parachains to communicate with each other, right? So you basically have all these parachains all across they're all having transactions sent to these validators and then the validators validate transactions and then the transactions get stored onto the relay chain pretty simple right here's the catch though so not everyone can just get on here and uh, have a have a parachain okay so there are limited amount of these slots okay you see these slots these parachain slots there's a limited amount of them right now there's about a hundred okay and how do you get it? If you wanted a slot, right? If you were a developer and, and you wanted one of these slots, how would you get that slot? Basically, there's an auction, okay? So the way that these auctions work is that basically, if you want to um, bid for a, a, a parachain slot, you basically have to bid in the DOT token, which is one reason why uh, the buying pressure will probably go up with the DOT token. And I'm not saying that the developers are gonna wait until the last week or wait until the announcement, they're probably accumulating DOT right now, right? If they have a, have the plan, if they have a plan for um, eventually bidding for one of those slots, they're probably accumulating right now, right? So that's one reason why I think the buying pressure will go up, right? Just because the auction is taking place in the DOT token, okay? But that doesn't happen, once again, that doesn't have to happen the day of, right? Like that's what a lot of people like to think that, oh, okay, the news came out, let's go buy now. No, like it's probably already priced in, right? Like these developers aren't idiots. They're not waiting for the last week before the auction starts to start getting some DOT. And here's the second thing that I really like about the way that this auction is taking place. So basically you can't, if you're a, if you're a bidder, right? If you're bidding for one of these slots, you can't see the other bids, okay? Of the other developers that are trying to uh, bid for that slot. So basically you just have to um, put down a whole lot of DOT and hope that you're the highest bidder okay and basically this is not dot that you're um, that you're paying you're not paying this to dot you're basically just locking it up right so 
you're basically just like showing the value of your company, right? You, you put that up and it gets locked. And after a certain period of time, I think it's about a year or something. I think it's about between like 10 months and like 16 months. Um, it gets unlocked. Okay. And this whole locking of the dot token for a year or for 14 months, however long it's going to get locked will also make the, um, the price of the dot token appreciate, right? Because there's going to be a lot less selling pressure. There's gonna be so much dot locked up, right? Because all of these bids took place and all of these parachain slots have been taken, right? And that's assuming that it stays at 100. Like they have plans to um, to increase that number. So there's no guarantee that it stays at 100, right? It could be 200, 300, we don't know, okay? So that's really bullish. I'm very, very bullish on Polkadot long-term, okay? And I mean, when we look at the market cap, it kind of makes sense that Polkadot also has a lot more room to grow, right? So let's look at Polkadot compared to um, the other blockchain um, smart contract platforms. Okay, so let's look at Cardano. Cardano, $75 billion market cap. Ethereum, $376 billion market cap. Binance Smart Chain, $67 billion market cap. Solana, obviously we know that Solana had a huge move recently, but now it's at $51 billion. Okay, um, Polkadot, just chilling here all alone at 28 billion, right? So, I mean, obviously it makes sense because the, all these all these platforms have a lot more um, have a lot more traffic, right? They have a lot more going on on the actual platform, right? Solana, Binance Smart Chain, I guess not Cardano, but Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Solana, all um, have a lot more going on, right? But hey, once that parachain slot auction is announced, I do think there's going to be a pump. I do think there's going to be a dot pump, okay? And I mean, if these prices go up, right? Like if Ethereum, for example, goes to 20,000, Ethereum's market cap is going to be around 2 trillion or a little bit above 2 trillion, right? So I don't think it's crazy to think that Polkadot will, I don't know, reach a 200 billion, maybe 300 billion dollar market cap. I think that's very realistic, okay? And I mean, right now it's at a $28 billion market cap. So if it did end up going to like a $280 billion market cap or a $300 billion market cap, that would put it at what, like $290, $295. So that's basically a 10x from the current price, right? But obviously everything um, depends on this guy over here. If this guy wants to misbehave, then nothing matters, right? If Bitcoin decides to decides to dump to 30k, then everything else is going to follow along with it, right? So we'll see how that plays out. We'll see, um, we'll see when the parachain auction gets announced. I think that'll be bullish. Just the news in and of itself will probably be bullish for, uh, for DOT. So we'll see how that plays out, all right? All right, if you like the video, make sure to like the video, okay? And if you're new around here, I post content like this every week, usually like two to three times a week. So if you like this type of stuff, make sure to subscribe, okay? Catch you in the next one.